Good day, and thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like the video. I just spoke with a current Bethelite, and he provided more information about this whole debacle that we see in the ex-Jehovah Witness community. But before I get into that, I would like to make this statement. This channel was created to help people wake up from religion and not to spend a lot of time on one particular subject. Therefore, I will be placing more private videos on my Patreon account, especially information about my 10 years at Bethel and also insider information that you might find to be interesting at this time. Now, getting back to the subject, I really don't even know how to put this into words because I'm rather disappointed. Being at Bethel and coming to the realization that this is not the truth was a very hard time in my life personally. And to be honest with you, I thought that that was the top of the line and that I had seen it all. So when the Bethelite brother told me some things this morning, I was really baffled. One thing that he mentioned is that the Jehovah's Witness leaders are behind the whole scandal that we see right now. And I just can't believe it. Like, it's terrible. I can't figure out how all of these individuals that woke up from the organization allowed themselves to get sucked into another gimmick. Like, what does it take for you to realize that a lot of things in life are just smoking mirrors. You jump right out of the frying pan into the fire. And most of us are guilty. And I'll say it again. Allegedly, Jehovah's Witnesses have started an apostate watch committee that has infiltrated the ex-Jehovah Witness community. In fact, I was advised that some of these individuals are moderators and administrators in some of the Facebook groups and also have infiltrated other social media platforms such as Reddit. That's crazy. And of the two names that I have been given thus far, one of them, shockingly, is a female attorney. Like this rabbit hole gets really deep when you stop and think about it. And one point that I have not been able to figure out thus far is that the brother mentioned that there are some ex-Jehovah Witnesses that are administrators and moderators on XJW groups while also being administrators and moderators on large Jehovah Witnesses groups. Now, I have the name of some of these individuals, so I will be doing some investigating just for my own thoughts. I just don't seem to find the benefit of doing that. It's really crazy to think that the Jehovah's Witnesses are manipulating and pulling the strings on all of the separation and the infighting that we see in the ex-Jehovah Witness community. And that's a major slap in the face when you stop and think about it. So this video is not for everybody. And I'm not here to please everybody. I'm not trying to convince you of anything. But for those of my followers or subscribers on my channel who want to know, who are interested in what I have to say, then know that you have been warned about some of the schemes that are currently going on. And, and it's up to you to choose to do whatever you want with the information that you receive. When you look at the number of people that are leaving the Jehovah's Witnesses community and you begin to see why they're so interested in doing these type of things. Thank you for tuning in to the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you feel the need.